Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm a licensed esthetician and the owner of The Wax Poetic in historic Savannah, Georgia. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove facial cheek hair. Although you have other options of removing facial hair or cheek hair, you could use a technique like threading, laser, electrolysis. Today, we're gonna to focus on how to remove it with soft wax. So, to start this procedure, you're gonna want a, a stringent or toner a little bit of a dusting powder or baby powder, um, some type of craft stick or wax stick, um, facial wax strips cut to about three inches in length by one inch, um, and some cotton rounds to help with application. So you're gonna start out by putting some of your astringent or toner onto um, the cotton round. You just want to make sure that the area is well cleansed so that there's no um, wax or oils or perfumes um, that would stop the wax from properly adhering to the face. Next, you would use your dusting powder. I like to apply it to the cotton round, not just directly um, onto someone's face like with your hand or sprinkling it on there. Just seems a little more, um, I don't know, less like cooking, more like waxing. And that just helps the hair to kind of stand up straight so you can see it when you're about to apply the wax. I'm going to turn my light so I have a better um, look on the fine cheek hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead, right before I wax Erica, I'm going to test the wax on myself to make sure that it's not too warm and to prevent any type of burn or injury that could happen from this procedure. Feels good to me. The reason I use the inside is that it's, um, the skin is thin there, so you're gonna feel how um, the temperature would feel on a thinner area, area like someone's face. I spin it on the stick to avoid it from falling. It also helps it cool off just a little bit. I'm going to hold the skin taut, the top, and I'm just going to swipe the wax down in a downward motion in the same direction as the hair growth. I'm going to take my wax strip, working kind of quickly. You don't want the wax to um, cool down giving it some pressure just to help adhere it to the muslin strip. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and brace the skin at the bottom and pull straight up. I'll show you that again. I like to apply pressure to the client's face or to the, your own face if you're doing it on yourself right afterwards. It just helps to kind of alleviate the pain. Again, you're gonna pull down, rip straight up. And that's how you do it. Again, I'm Natasha and this was how to remove facial cheek hair with wax.